Welcome to the Polyphene 2 tutorial series brought to you by the genomic education team at the Jackson Laboratory. This short video will demonstrate how to submit a query for a variant in a human protein to Polyphene 2 using a protein identifier. To begin, locate the submission form labeled Query Data on the home page of Polyphene 2. Then, locate the text box labeled Protein or SNP Identifier. Polyphene 2 recognizes protein accession numbers and entry names from the Uniprot KV database. It also recognizes RefSeq identifiers and standard gene symbols. However, use of Uniprot KB identifiers is recommended. Uniprot KB accession numbers and entry names can be found by searching for your protein of interest at uniprot.org. Check out our Uniprot tutorial series for more information on how to use Uniprot. In this tutorial, we will be looking at a variant in the human protein taste receptor type 2 member 38 which is abbreviated TAS2R38, and which I will refer to as TASTER. We will be investigating a common variant that results in an amino acid change from isoleucine to valine and amino acid number 296 in the TASTER protein sequence. The Uniprot KB entry name for TASTER is T2R38 underscore human, written in all caps, so we will type that protein identifier into the box. You could also use the Uniprot KB accession number for human taster, which is P59533. When using a Uniprot KB identifier, you do not need to enter the protein FASTA sequence into the query submission form, so we will skip that section of the form. Next, in the text box labeled position, enter the position of the variant amino acid within the protein sequence. For this taster variant, the amino acid change occurs at amino acid number 296, so type 296 into the position box. Below the position box are two rows labeled substitution, then AA1 and AA2. This section of the form enables you to enter information about the amino acid change. Both rows contain a list of all of the amino acids represented by one letter abbreviations. The AA1 row represents the amino acid at the variant position in the reference sequence. As a reminder, we are investigating a common taster variant that results in an amino acid change from isoleucine to valine. So for this taster variant, select I for isoleucine in the AA1 row. The AA2 row represents the substitution amino acid. So for this taster variant, select V for valine in the AA2 row. Below the substitution section is a text box labeled Query Description. This section allows you to enter a description that will help you to remember the contents of this submission. For this example, you might type TAS2R38 variant. Leave all other settings as they are and press the Submit Query button. This submits the information to Polyphene 2 for analysis. Thank you for listening. To learn more about how to use Polyphene 2, continue to watch videos in this tutorial series. For other resources from Jack's Genomic Education, find us on our website.